Hi, it's me again. I'm Doug. Uh, when we left off, I said that uh, I had to go do things, which I did, and that I would be right back, but I wasn't right back. It's actually been like a couple days, and so I'm kind of out of things. Um, I do know where we are, though. Uh, we are Roxas, and we're collecting money uh, so we can go to the beach. Uh, we currently have... What was that? Uh, oh. Okay, yeah, that leads to the Sandlot. Uh, this is to the Market Street. Yeah, so we have 446, which isn't too bad. Uh, but we want to get 2,000. That's the magic number. Uh, because 2,000 money will uh, give us a chance to... Uh, what's it called? Give us, like, the biggest bonus. Because... Uh, Basically, uh, the game, I guess it's a little bit of a spoiler, uh, but, uh, the game doesn't let us keep all the money that we get, uh, but it does give us a nice bonus. It gives us AP, which, uh, for those of you who remember from Kingdom Hearts 1 is ability points, which allow us to essentially equip, uh, more, uh, abilities in combat and you know, overall quality of life improvement. It's not like, you know, game-breaking, like, you're not going to really be hurting if you don't have it. There are ways to get an infinite amount of AP, essentially, in this game, uh, but it just means you have more to use earlier on. Right. Now, uh, if we get a good time for this, we end up getting uh, 100 money a pop, so... The problem is, is that where I put my, uh, face is right where the time clock is, which is, like, it's the best area that I could get, considering where everything else, like, all the other corners are, in my opinion, a little bit more important, so, uh, so yeah, we're kind of missing out on that, uh, but I'm feeling really confident. Go. Alright, there was one I did kind of miss. The only thing I wish is like the posters would stay up after the fact. Alright, okay. You, you get 50 money for doing okay. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna go through all of them quickly. Uh, just so that way there's some variety. Because you know, I'm just. I don't know. I don't know, I feel like the variety and I just talk about stuff is more fun than just you know, doing posters for like 10 minutes. these mini games oddly enough are harder as I get older. Like as a kid, like I was able to ace most of these pretty easily. Uh, the only one I couldn't get is the uh what's it? Uh the grandstanding I think it is, like the one with the ball. And now like that's the one I have the easiest time with. And now all the other ones I'm struggling to get like the good times on. Alright. Let's just do these all one more time. The struggle is like pressing triangle at the right time. Especially with this guy here. Go. Awesome. Because like the first time I did this, uh, like I, like, grind it on the rails too quickly and that ended up like uh cost me a little time like i still got the like good time on it but it was like it still kind of hurt my chances oh that was okay i'm gonna redo that one actually like i hit it from the side and like i'm not moving forward 
see him developing strategies to get smarter. Oh. Okay, I'm so not getting that. Ah, why are you doing that? I keep thinking I'm hitting it. I guess I gotta lock on. Um, there we go. Not bad. Okay, I got 30 money. Alright, let's do Grand Sander one more time and then see where we're at. Solid face after a while because I think like some of the early ones were like I had like a translucent one and just like weird. I like the little fiber ones that's cute. Wow, you're the best. 50 money, okay. Alright, 706 from all of them. I guess it's not too bad. Yeah, like part of the reason why all the shops are closed and you can't do anything with them is like the money is like a fixed uh, thing. Like the money you need is a fixed thing in the game. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. I wish you had the option just to restart from the get go. Memories was like the first Kingdom Hearts game that I got into, but it was on the Game Boy. Uh, this was the first like Kingdom Hearts game that I got into on a console. Like I played, I played Destiny Islands for a bit. Like, oh, it's gonna cost me. Like, I've spoken about it before, but like, uh, I played Destiny Islands on a uh, Kingdom Hearts one when I rented the game, like, my mom, uh, rented it, and, like, I was, like, playing in the living room, which is, like, a rare thing, because, like, my parents always had, like, a private game room for, like, me and my brother and my sister to play games, um, so, like, uh, like, I ended up, basically, I rented Kingdom Hearts 1 when it came out, played that for a little, well, not when it came out, but, like, how do you do? Okay. Yeah, now we're gonna do this for a little bit, and then I'll throw in some more variety later. Once we get closer to the limits. Uh, but anyways, stories. God, every time I tell a story, I always get sidetracked. So, uh, anyways, uh, like I had, like I played the first Kingdom Hearts game sometime after it came out, at least before 2, to like, hit the shelves. Uh, so, like, I had that experience with it, but, like, this was the first, like, Kingdom Hearts game that I really, like, sunk my teeth into and played uh, and, like, it was in this weird time when, like, I, like, I had owned this game, uh, but, like, I still tried to play the first game because, you know, like, I understood continuity and stuff and I wanted to play the first one, but then, you know, like, I played through this intro and as we clearly see, it does, like, a little slideshow of what happened in the first game and everything, so I was sort of like, okay, uh, I guess I really don't need to play the first game, which I, I kind of wish I had a hat, but like, I played through like the vast majority of this game uh, before I got uh, Kingdom Hearts 1, like I physically owned a copy and was able to 
and then that's where like I beat Kingdom Hearts 1, read the manga for King for Chain of Memories, and then I beat this game. Like that's kinda how the story how the story goes. Alright. Haven't even we haven't even beat a thousand yet. Yeah, so, like, Kingdom Hearts 2, it's, like, the game that I, I guess I have, like, the most nostalgia for, since this was, like, the one I really got into, and, uh, also, like, with the segment with Roxas, because, I mean, we know kind of what happened to Sora, Sora is asleep right now and all that fun stuff, uh, but, uh, you know, like, I got really attached to, uh, playing as Roxas, because, spoilers, since, you know, Sora's on the cover, and game is like 10 years old. Thir 13, actually. Uh, but, uh, Sora is like the main protagonist eventually, like the story shifts focus uh, from Roxas to Sora, and basically, uh, like, I spent a lot of time playing this Roxas. Like, I talked about how, like, I was stuck on, uh, Destiny Islands for a while. Um, the same could be said, uh, for Twilight Town. Um, just, and it wasn't because I was stuck here, I just spent so much time, uh, in the Twilight Town area, or world, I guess, is simply because, uh, the load times for Kingdom Hearts 2 back in the day, uh, were just really bad. Like, almost nightmarish for me, so I'd say. Like, uh, it's just, like, one of those weird things where, like, you, you're kind of spoiled on it now, but like load times used to be huge. Like I would have to wait like like five minutes to uh, load a, like a cutscene, or like it take a minute, maybe like half a minute uh, to uh, load in uh, like one of these mini games. And maybe I'm exaggerating and missing a few like key points. But, like, low temps are really bad. Like, especially when you're transitioning between areas. Or, like, if you were going from a cutscene to, like, an actual bit of gameplay. Like, it it changed a lot. So, like, you... I just got so used to Twilight Town. Like, I remember because, uh... Like, I, I had got... The reason I stopped playing 2 was because I got to a point where, like, I couldn't beat the boss. Like, I was just, like... Like, because there's, like, this segment of bosses right at the end, like, they're kind of all, like, their own unique, uh, thing. Like, it's like a big boss rush, like, individual bosses, like a big marathon. And so I got stuck on that, and I was just kind of like, okay, what am I doing? Uh... And s oh, okay. I think I did it. Oh, sorry, I was trying to multitask. But like, so like, I kind of had to stop, and then like, you know, I started playing one, and uh, like one had more manageable load times, I guess. Uh, so because it made it easier to handle. Um, so like, I beat one, go through Kingdom Hearts one, beat it, and then I load up this game. And like the opening cutscenes play, and then I'm sitting there for like 10 minutes. Like I'm still riding the high of beating uh, Ansem for the first time, but I was just like, like you know, like I was surprised. Like wow, this takes a lot longer. Like it's because like there are a lot of cutscenes in the beginning yeah. of the game, and I'm like, wow, that's a yeah. Yeah. lot of cutscene you got there. Yeah. Like it's sure taking a long time to load. Yeah. Yeah. Run. And, like, now with, like, the PlayStation, uh, 4 version of the game that we're playing in now, load times are, like, non-existent. And it's really nice. But, like, when you're playing by yourself, like, I'm taking my time, you know, I like to show off content and stuff, but, I don't know. I'm specifically not trying to rush, but... When I played through this on the PlayStation 4 for the first time, I was surprised at, like, how fast everything was going. I just 
kind of a shame because like I feel like, especially like if you're coming off of uh, Chain of Memories, especially Reverse Rebirth with Riku, that like this is just like a nice kind of unwinding period. It introduces you to all, all like the new mechanics and stuff because like this game is a lot more fluid. Like there's a lot more motion and a lot more stuff you can do. Like you know like, and it's like more responsive. I'd say like you know skateboarding around like. Actually, I haven't skateboarded around term common, but like, you know, you can do stuff like this, this, and then this, and this, and you can do all these, like, fun things that, like, not to say, like, Kingdom Hearts 1 wasn't, like, a uh, intuitive game, but this just feels a lot more, uh, a lot more responsive, like, they improved, like, the engine that they used, and so there's, like, a lot more mobility. And not like just the mobility, but just like, it feels like you can do a lot more and you have like more freedom to move around. So it makes it feel, I don't know, different and better, so to speak. I don't know, I'm just kind of talking here. But yeah, like, the intro, because there's like so much more to do, um, like because of that, I don't know, you... Uh, like, I like that it just kind of slowly introduces these new mechanics, like, ease you into it. And also, it's just nice giving, like, this kind of, like, simple, uh, beginning of process. Like, um, it, I don't know, Kingdom Hearts takes itself seriously, and that's one of the things I love about it. Uh, but this is just, like, a nice, like, hey, it's very reminiscent of, like, Destiny Islands, but I think this is a little bit more relatable, because, like, I mean, I don't live in a big city, but like, you know, and it's not like Twilight Town is like supposed to be like a big city, so I don't think that's what, uh, they want. So, okay, there we go. But like, you know, Twilight Town is just kind of like small town. Like, that's the feel I can relate to like the idea of just like, when I mean, you're like a kid and you want to go to the beach. And like, I don't have, like, we, like where I live, we didn't have to pay to go to like the beach most of the time. Or if, like, we did, it's, like, way outside of our price range. But, like, the idea of, like, oh, yeah, I want to get snacks and stuff. So, like, I gotta, you know, do chores and stuff. And just, like, this idea of, like, hanging around trying to fill your summer. Like, it's, in my opinion, it's a lot more relatable than, you know, just hanging out around on islands. Not to say, you know, like, Destiny Islands is completely unrelatable because, you know, hey, there's a beach there and, you know, it's just kids exploring. But, like, I don't know. Twilight Town just feels, I guess, a little bit more closer to the realm of reality that I know. And so that's one of the reasons why I like it, I guess. Uh. So yeah, I'm noticing because, like, my bad habit is I always kind of look at my... Like, I look both at the, like, the game I'm playing, but also I end up looking up at the box. Part of it's just because, like, you know, I... I know this game like the back of my hand, so like I don't need to look at uh, what I'm doing all the time. Uh, but no, it's just like, you know, I like seeing myself and seeing like, how do I look? How's my lighting? All that fun junk. Which is like, you know, uh, actually I think that's part of my training because like, I, like I take a camera class for like acting on camera and it's like, we can't see the monitor, but like we're taught, you know, don't spike the lens, don't look right at the camera, which is, you know, if like I want to address you, like I want, I need to do that in this context, but like, you know, I, I always look more at this and, you know, okay, we're actually making decent progress. Uh, we're just going to do poster duty a few times. I think I'll just do like all the ones I have done. Um, anyways, so like... Uh, like, I notice I'm always looking up at myself, and I want to apologize, uh, not for, you know, going on huge spiels, because I, like, I don't want to say I love hearing myself talk, but I, I'm, okay, I'll save that for later. I just want to apologize, because, like, I'm always looking up this way, so it, it probably looks like I'm, like, distracted from the gameplay, uh, which I'm kind of not, like, you know, I'm paying attention to both, uh, but, like, I don't know. I just want to say sorry if that bothers you. Oh, I completely screwed that up. I forgot those ones. It messed up my whole combo. 
Okay, and Rox. Okay, Roxas, that's that's on us. It's on you. Because it's like not a complete circle. It's like segmented. So like Roxas hit like one of the parts that wasn't uh, like detectable ledge to grab, and it screwed. You screwed the pooch, Roxas. Also, like I kind of really like Roxas's design in terms of just like character. Like he looks a lot more normal, I'd say, than Sora. Like you know, Sora's outfit's very like, oh hey, I walked out of a Disney World, uh, kind of thing. Whereas like you know, Roxas, like he still looks very much like an anime character, but like it's a little bit more in like the realm of like, oh hey, yeah, I I can kind of see that like. Someone, like, it's a very average color scheme in comparison to, like, Sora's, like, bright red, uh, onesie that he's wearing. Because, like, that's the thing, I think I brought it up one time, but, like, Sora basically wears sort of, like, a onesie. Like, he has, like, a little coat on, but then it's just, like, I don't know, like, a romper or something underneath, and I think it's, well, it, it's fun, and it's, like, adorable, and it's very much Sora. But, like, uh... I don't know, Roxas just appears a little bit normal, and I like Roxas, um, I like his personality, but it's a shame he's, we only get so much time with Roxas, um, cause you know, it's kind of like the tutorial segments, spoilers, uh, but like, it's fun, and you know, Roxas really hit home with a lot of people, and we'll see why, like, you know, what you're supposed to do is just do this until you get bored, um, and like, we'll see, once I hit 2000, it's going to stop me from, uh, continuing on, actually. Uh... Oh, that is my... Okay. What? Okay, I gotta launch it in the air and then do that, so okay. So yeah, uh... What was I saying? Roxas is, uh, relatable, he's gotta be so Oh yeah, uh, yeah, it's just... Uh, like, once we hit 2,000 money, it's gonna stop us, and, you know, like, us doing this for as, as long- Aw, oh, dang it! Okay, I hope 22's enough. I think it's supposed to be 25. Okay, never mind. It was 20. Alright, cool. Yeah, I felt bad. I was distracted during that, so that's... on me, guys. I apologize. Yeah, uh... Roxas is like a fun, kind of relatable character, and like we'll see more of that sooner. Like we're just taking longer because I want to, because uh, you know once Twilight Town's done, it's kind of done. Like we come back to it. Thankfully, Twilight Town is sort of similar to, uh, I guess, Traverse Town in that way, but like not quite. Like this is like the starting world that you do get to go back to, and, like Destiny Islands. Uh, but like, uh, I don't know, like, I just want to take my time and enjoy this. Like, you know, we don't get to show off a lot of Roxas' personality right now. Which, you know, shame. Shame that it, shame that it is. Uh. uh but like, you know, I just want to have fun with this and enjoy this world while you still can. Because, like, basically... If you wanted to, you could, like I said, do one job and then head straight up to the, to the train station and continue on with the story. And, you know, if that's your first time, I'd say, hey, you know, maybe you do that. Uh, if you uh, don't want to get that extra 2 AP, because... Honestly, like, I had, actually, I had this thought with Kingdom Hearts 3. It's like, I didn't really go for the secret ending. Uh, in 3, because 1, it's on the internet. It's a lot easier to find secrets there. Uh, but, like, I rushed with the story. Like, I just wanted to get the story ex and experience that for the first time. And, you know, like, I feel like people should do that uh, when they play, I don't know, I think most games, or, like, the way I like to play games is, like, I don't want to min-max and try to figure out the best way to play these games. Uh kind of like, I don't know, like, you know, experience the story because that's the main draw of Kingdom Hearts, and the thing about Kingdom Hearts, um, and I guess, like, 
JRPGs over like Western RPGs that I like is that usually a JRPG, it's not going to penalize you for not doing all the extra stuff. So like, you can experience the story and it's going to be okay. Like, if you really want to go for uh, like the secret ending, sure, by all means. But like, don't worry about min-maxing because like, and by that for like people who aren't familiar with the term, uh, min-maxing just basically means like minimizing and maximizing like your strength and weaknesses, like figuring out the best way to play the game, the most efficient. And I don't know, I just feel like, you know, that shouldn't be the first way you play the game unless that's your thing, then by all means do that. But like, if you just want to enjoy the story, enjoy the story. I'm min-maxing in crap because like, I don't know, this is like my fourth uh, playthrough of the game. Uh, nah, I, I think I've played... I've com this will be the third time I've completed the game, for sure. Uh, but, like, this will... I've played the game multiple times. So, like, that's why I'm doing that. But yeah, like, with Kingdom Hearts 3, like, I mean, I rushed the game, which one thing I wish I would have done is, like, taking my time, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna take my time with, like, my second playthrough, uh, where, like, I'm able to do this. Like, you know, slow down, talk about, like, what I'm thinking and feeling throughout all the games, because, throughout the game, because it's like, I don't know, man, like, this is the part where, like, I completely lose myself, and, like, I know I'm going on a rant, but, like, I just want to follow this, like, thought train up until, like, uh, it reaches its end, but, like, I really enjoy doing this. Like, nobody watches my videos. I barely get, like, a comment or a view or a like. And it's like, I still have so much fun doing this. Like, it is so cool. Like, I'm just able to play a video game, share how I feel, have a great time, and, you know, just, like, talk about stuff. Like, you know... Like, it, it's no replacement for therapy, but it is very, like, I don't know, maybe therapeutic or cathartic for me just to sit around and do this for, like, an hour or two every day. I don't know, like, we're gonna be getting to the story content soon. Uh, but it's just, like, you know, like, that was the thing that I missed the most when I was playing 3. Like, there were so many moments where I looked to where, like, I normally keep my, uh, camera, uh, and I was just like, oh, no one's there. Like, there were moments when I wanted to share my reaction, but I just couldn't. And, uh, like, that's what I'm looking forward to doing, like... And it's definitely changing the way, like, I play games, because, like, sometimes I like... Like, I like playing online games because I can talk to my friends. But, you know, I notice, like, I need a distraction now. Uh, like, I need to have, like, a movie or a TV show or a podcast or, like, some YouTube video playing on the background while I'm playing another game. Because if not, I'm going to get lonely and think, oh man, I should be streaming or recording this. Like, that's the curse. And it's like a fun bug to have. And so this is a scene uh, basically saying like, okay, you've done enough, stop. Don't grind anymore. You've become quite dexterous. You get plus two AP. All present and accounted for. What do we... What do we got? Let's see. Just this. <laughs> Whoa, Roxas, that's awesome. We can even buy a watermelon with this. Perfect. I could go for some watermelon at the beach, honestly. I miss the beach nice so much. Nice work, everyone. Miss Added to what we started so with, much. we now have... Ta-da! 5,000 money! The frame Sweet. rate's really weird in this game. Let's get tickets. Like, they're, they're moving a little faster than they should. We can't be together forever, so we'd better make the time we do have something to remember. Huh? Gotcha! Yeah. Like, I know the dialogue's a little corny, but, like, it really hits you. Like, you know, that, that's the kind of thing, like, you know, like, as a kid, I'm like, wow, that's real serious stuff. And then as I get older, I'm like, wow, man, I really feel that. Especially with, like, in high school with, like, my friends. Like, I'm thankful enough to, like, still be really close to, like, the same group of friends I had in high school. And, like, I still am able to, like, maintain, like, a nice web of connections or a chain of memories of, like, a lot of other close friends and associates throughout the years. 
but it's like you know i'm just thankful that like you know i'm able to keep like the people who were like closest to me when i was growing up still close to me but like you know in the same vein like it's like that's a it's a nice little philosophy to have, you know, make sure that, you know, you have good times to remember, because you might not always have forever with your friends. Woo! And it hits you just like that. Huh? Uh -huh. Stick to it, Roxas. Mm. Stick it to the man. Uh. Huh? I haven't started my watch. What? Roxas! Three minutes! Okay. Thank you. You see, H Hainer was keeping track of time for us. This has literally been going on for three minutes. <laughs> oh, man. Four students. Roxas. The money. Wait. No. Huh? He took it. Where are you going? Remember when I fell? I had the money before that. I bet that guy took it. Guy? He couldn't have gotten too far. What are you talking about? There was no guy. Huh? But he... There wasn't? Really? Ah, oh, boy. There wasn't anyone... there? Poor Roxas. It's melting. Sorry. Cheer up already. That was definitely weird, though. Strange. You said it. Can you feel Sora? Huh? Can you feel Sora? Oh. I guess I missed that. Guy. Restoration I guess I just forgot percent. about it or something. Namine. Hurry. I know that voice. Is it really that hard to make a beach? We'd be giving the enemy another entry point. And this? We can always buy some sea salt ice cream. <laughs> Objects from that town must be kept out of the real world. You can delete that. Mystery. As the key bearer, you must already know. One must not meddle in the affairs of other worlds. So many places I want to see. I know I'll get there someday. Thus, I do hereby dub the junior heroes. I love that line. I don't know why. I like the replacement Danny You rookies still don't understand what it takes to be a true hero. I, I wish for your freedom, Genie. Fuck that moment. Ow! Ow! Sally, why didn't I listen to you? Don't feel bad, Jack. We'll come up with another plan for Halloween. Next time, we'll do it together. Power! I am Moshu! Did I or are you Mushu? too cool to play them now that you have the Keyblade? Riku? W what are you doing here? Did you find her? I still can't believe it. I really flew. Wait till I tell Kai... I wonder if she'll believe me. Probably not. Well, I'm searching too. For your light? Don't lose sight of it. Sora! Where are you going? I'm gonna go look for my friends. They're waiting for me. Well, where are Donald and Goofy? Instead of worrying about them, you should be asking about her. Dramatic step to the side.
Yeah, I, 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 I don't think we summoned Mushu. If we did, it was very brief. Gotta go to the archives to find out. It's the girl that's nominee. Who are you? Do they add scenes? Huh? I can't believe I'm forgetting this. Like, I, I thought I knew this game pretty well. Especially the intro, like, because I played the intro a few times, like, not gonna lie, I, like, I'm pretty bad, actually, about this sometimes, where, like, I'll start a new profile, a new, like, save file in a game, simply because, like, I kind of missed the beginning, and, like, I want to play the beginning, and also because I feel like I need to start over sometimes. So, like, and I did that with Kingdom Hearts 2, like, I started over, but actually, like, sometimes I'll delete the save file, so, like, I can't go back to the old file. I actually didn't do this with this, like, I just wanted to play, uh, the beginning again, so, like, I feel like I know it pretty well, but, like, that whole scene, I just kind of, uh, like, I'm drawing a blank with a lot of it, actually. Meet at the station. Today's the day we hit the beach, and don't sweat about the money. Hainer. I don't know why I didn't know this. Like, like a Joey Wheeler. Come on, Yugs, we're gonna go to the beach. We're gonna get money for my sister's operation, Yugs. Uh, man. I'm having fun, and so I kind of realized something. Uh, okay, we're gonna save the game, just in case. But, like, I realized something. I like looking at myself. And not in, like, a narcissist, like, a narcissist kind of way. But just, like, I don't know. Like, I've always dealt with, like, Not liking the way I look, like having issues with like my body, because like I was always like a really skinny, thin kid, and I was self-conscious about that. In part because you know like I have a lot of family who is like overweight and stuff, and so like I was self-conscious about that. But also just because like when you're a teenager uh, and you're skinny, like you're constantly comparing yourself to the athletic kids, uh, which is probably something overweight kids do too. Like I'm not trying to make it sound like I had it. I had the worst body in the world, um, but like, you know, I was constantly comparing myself to like, you know, more athletic kids and stuff, and like, I ran, and I was in sports and things, but like, it was still like, you know, and also like, I had a real issue where like, personally, like, I felt like, you know, it's taken like, a few years for me to actually consider myself like, kind of attractive, like, I have a real baby face, and especially like with this lighting, I probably look really, I don't know, like I look kind of like youngish, but also kind of oldish, like it's really emphasizing the wrinkles, it's not doing a lot of favors for me. But like, doing this has gotten me so much more used to seeing my face, like my acting camera class helps a lot, but like this is just like, you know, I like watching myself talk, this is what other people see when I talk, and it's just a really cool thing. Welcome to Twilight Town. <laughs> like, you know, you know, everyone always talks about how, like, you know, you never see yourself when you're, like, talking about something you're passionate, but with this, I get to, and that's so cool, and I love it. The darts you and Hainer always play with. Pence and Olette's favorite sofa. Welcome to Twilight Town. Right. We have no money. We're still level one. The back alley. So, we're going to... Yeah, I think we're going to the train station. Hey! Morning! Huh? Hello, Roxas. Uh, hi. And you are... I wanted to meet you at least once. Me? Yes, you. Oh, 
Colette dragged me along to she go shopping. She like, sinks into the ground. Yeah. I don't know if you that's like a story um, thing or like uh, if that's wait. like just the way they Did animated it. Did you just see it. that? He's stalling. Very well then. We'll see you later, Roxas. Okay? It, yeah. Did she go to that haunted mansion? What about Hainer and the beach? Cross the line. Find a weapon. Defeat mysterious enemies. So that's actually one. This is like it's cool. Like they have this little background of them, where like the other characters, like they're not doing anything, but like they kind of are. It's cool. So uh, fun fact: Cipher is voiced by uh, Will Friel, who is like uh, he's. Like, I know him from uh, the 90s sitcom Boy Meets World. He's also the voice of Ron Stoppable and uh, Terry McGinnis. Uh, Ron Stoppable from uh, Kid Possible. And then uh, Terry McGinnis and Batman Beyond. He, he's a voice actor in a lot of things. And he's, he's also on this uh, on Critical Role, which is Not like good. a TV show I talk all the time about. It was just cool hearing him in this. It's just like, you know, one of those, like, childhood connectors. Because I... I like Boy Meets World. It was a fun show. Roxas! Huh? Use the Keyblade! Huh? 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 I didn't know that people could stand up there. Did they really <sighs> animate a roof? <sighs> and here we are. It's the place. The station to awakening. Yes, you remember these. I do. Station of Serenity, Twilight Town. So yeah, um, no, like, real fore forewarning. Are you just gonna run up to one and you pick it? The shield is sturdy. A shield like this could block just about anything. Is protection important? Not really. Yes, protection is very important, and if you know what I mean by this, you know it is. If you don't, guess, just protection is important. Just looking at this blade seems to give you strength. It's like the blade in Kung Fu Panda. One look at it, it will cut you. Ah. Is strength important? Not really. The staff seems mystical. Just like holding it would grant you wisdom. Is wisdom important? So yeah, um, it's just like the choice we make right at the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 1, except uh, this time it happens a little bit later, because uh, this game doesn't really throw you into the combat all that quick, you know, like it teaches you, like, yeah, there's some basic combat stuff, but like, uh, this one takes its time, like I said, uh, Twilight Town tutorial takes longer than the t tutorial in uh, the first Kingdom Hearts, and also because I'm talking a lot, it's taking longer. Uh, but like, so, the weapon, like, this weapon, uh, the struggle bat that, uh, Roxas choose, it just determines, like, an initial stat boost. So this boosts attack, the guard in one boosts defense, and then the staff boosts, like, your magic by, like, one or two points, I think. I can't even remember what it is. It's, it's ne negligible. It's kind of more cosmetic. This is where you actually determine what your focus is. Um... This time around, though, you only choose what you want as your boom. You don't choose a bane. You don't choose something that it... You don't give up one of these, basically. So, it's a little bit easier on you that way. Um, and leveling's kind of more balanced this time around. Like, before, like, the, what you would get in levels was, like, completely determined by what weapon choice you go with. 
This time, like, there is, like, usually at fixed points, like, every, like, I don't know, like, say, ten levels or so, uh, and I'm spitballing here, but, like, at a fixed point, like, every, uh, path gets the same, uh, like, ability at level up. So, like, you know, even if you go with one, you're not getting completely screwed out of one thing or another. Um, like, last time I played through this game, I ended up choosing the sword. I ended up not really liking that because, like, some abilities that I personally really like having in this game, uh, I had to go out for a while, um, which wasn't too bad. Like, I was able to accomplish it fine, but I would have got them a lot earlier if I had chosen the shield, and it seems like the shield kind of, like, my weapon in this game. Like, when I played 3, I chose defense, and that worked out perfectly fine for me. I got all the abilities I liked. I, I still don't know all the abilities in Kingdom Hearts 3 yet, but that's far later on, and actually I'm pretty happy that, you know, uh, by choosing the shield I'm letting people know that protection is important. You bet it is. Use protection, always. And we've received the power of the Guardian, but yeah, we get some really nice abilities. In particular, you get the ability Second Chance and Once More Earlier. Um, Second Chance, one of them was in Kingdom Hearts 1 that kept you at 1 HP, regardless of if you, as long as you have 2. Uh, I think it's Once More is the new one, and basically it extends it to combos as well, so if you get locked into a combo and, like, the enemy is continuously attacking you, uh, then you're not going to, uh, die from, like, the enemy's combo, combo locking you, so, like, you can still get hit multiple times, and so long as you do not dodge out of that, uh, initial combo, you'll still survive. Go and, and we got a new ability, the first one. And it's actually a really useful ability and one that I love a lot that they added in this game. Uh, so yeah, this is between leveling up, you get experience, uh, experience when you level up. Um, if you're having a tough time, you know, level up Roxas before going on to an, the next area. You can't really grind enemies in this area though. Um, we'll soon see why. Um, and it's really inefficient. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is abilities, uh, you know, they use AP and they are, they can be activated sometimes, uh, in combat, sometimes without. Um, aerial recovery is a really nice one. So if you are knocked into the air, um, you can press circle, uh, to just get yourself right back up. You don't have to worry about, like, that downtime and that can really be a huge boon and I don't know what I picked up. Oh, that's a problem. I'm really gonna have to check my inventory because like it does this thing where like they'll show you if there's a new item. And like I mean it's good because like it's really annoying like scrolling down to like get rid of the new icon. Beyond that door lies a completely different world. But don't be afraid. Don't stop walking. And I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more just to be the man who walks a thousand miles to fall down at your door. Dun 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 dun. We are done. And crap, I sang a song. I'm probably gonna get this. This we're probably gonna get copyright. Copyright it up. They're gonna take the other is like I don't make money off of this, which I don't know. Kind of upsetting. Not because you know I want to like you know profit off of like my own happiness. Well, actually I kind of do. Like that'd be. <laughs> Anyways, dog broke the law. Pushed it away a little bit. Well, actually not in an hour because I actually did the same thing I did here. Where like I uh, actually <laughs> I'm looking at it. I have I had a lot of money last time I played. Uh, anyways, so like yeah. Uh, I think we're just gonna cut it up here, and then like this will be where like the first big half of Twilight Town is, and then we'll do the second half. And this way I can properly pace myself because I I'm pretty free this weekend, so like I think we can get through Twilight Town at least pretty decently. And you know like I'm just gonna be taking my time. Like I rush through Chain of Memories, and that's something I actually feel really bad about because like I don't know like it, it was cool that I was able to get it done in basically like I did it in basically about four five weeks, so like basically a month. And like, you know, it's cool that I was able to do that in comparison to like, uh, the first Kingdom Hearts that kind of basically took me around a semester, actually, uh, actually a little bit after, uh, 
the first game hearts took a while and like this one i feel like it's probably going to take me up until the end of the semester to really get going on this because you know i want to take my time and i want to be serious about like working on the videos as i go because i've been having this real problem where like i work on a lot of like i stream and record a lot and then i just kind of put the files off to the side and not even look and work on them and so you know i end up like having this huge backlog where like i'm just sitting at my computer looking at it as it processes the files saves the files uploads the files initializes and all this stuff so like i'm basically i'm just going to take my time with this um as obviously, like, you know, we spent like the entirety of this. Actually, this recording session, which is like you know, like this first half is is going to be like you know, segments put together. It's going to be choppy. You get what you pay for. Uh, but like, you know, I'm just kind of like, you know, this first half is going to be its own thing, and it's longer. Like you know, this entire recording session we spent just doing odd jobs so like i don't know not gonna worry about taking too much time i'm gonna have fun with it and you know anyone who watches this and is you know they're you're probably watching this because you enjoy the way i do things and hopefully you're just having fun like honestly this is just background noise that's all i hope this is for people like if, if that's all i ever amount to with this channel i'm happy with this like i'm, I'm just having fun and so, you know, I'm going to take my time and have fun. And, you know, that's all I, that's all you can really ask for, you know? I'm in no rush to complete this anymore. I played Kingdom Hearts 3. That part of me is satisfied. And, you know, I'm processing the game. And I can tell you this. Looking back, like, you know, I was, I had some, like, disquiet thinking, oh, my gosh. You know, maybe Kingdom Hearts 3 didn't live up to all my expectations. Am I going to not like it? I'm looking back and it's like, you know what? I'm excited to play Kingdom Hearts 3 again. I'm looking forward to making discoveries about the game. Because, like, the nooks and crannies are actually what I love too like at first i'm like i love the story the, like i absolutely love the kingdom hearts story because like i really got into the kingdom hearts lore after i beat two like after i beat one uh got the story of kingdom memories and then two and like when we we're waiting for the new kingdom hearts games to come out i got so into this stuff and then after that i was just like okay uh um I really love the combat, like I really got into the combat of Kingdom Hearts. Uh, 2 has this really great combat system which we will talk a lot more about when we get into it. Because trust me, it's good. Uh, and then I, uh, then I had, and now it's like, you know, replaying these games again. Uh, I just realized, like, especially like with this recording, because like I realized it with the first Kingdom Hearts game, but like I'm realizing it more playing through it. Uh, and recording instead of just playing through it on my own that like you know when you're trying to talk and explain stuff it's like you find these things and you're so happy to share these discoveries with it and like that's the thing like you know like i'm looking forward to finding new things in kingdom hearts 3 and also in this game and getting the chance to share it with people evil people whoever watches this if anybody but like you know like i talk about it all the time but we are in such a it's such a scary and chaotic time, but one of the amazing things is that we are able to share something we love with people. And you know, I couldn't ask for more. So that's enough. This is an extremely long outro. My name is Doug, and I'm happy you're here. Thanks for watching. Bye. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. What's going on?